All right, hi there. So in this video, we're going to create our own Svelte store. We're going to implement it ourselves. Um, if you go into the docs, you can see there's the store contract right here. And if you want to create your own store, we have to do these three things. So basically, we have a subscribe method. It does all this. Um, and then the subscribe method returns an unsubscribe method. And then for a writable store, we can have a set method uh, or like an update method too. So the reason I started looking at this is because um, I was in the Svelte source code just for fun. And... It's been over 100 lines of code for the stores, so it's really not that complicated, even though it's pretty powerful, pretty cool. Um, but it's basically implementing like this observability pattern where you can have one thing um, that whenever it's updated, it notifies you rather than you needing to check if the value has been updated. Um, anyway, you can look into observables more. And this also works in anything. So vanilla JavaScript, I might start using this, uh, just use these stores. Um, it's pretty nice. So here, um, let's just get started. Function my writable. So basically, usually you know you have like export const writable e or uh, my store equals writable blah blah blah, and you pass in like the initial value. Okay, so we're going to implement this, but it's going to be my writable, so we don't have to import Svelte store. So this here is going to be passed in as the initial value. And because of closures, we can do this. That's kind of how this whole thing works, is that we have this closure. Um, we have functions that manipulate this internal value um, that can be shared around different components. OK, so uh, we're going to have three functions. It's going to be set, there's going to be update, and there's going to be subscribe. OK, so and then we need to uh, return all of them. So a store, what it is, it's basically just an object that has these functions on it. Uh, set, update, and subscribe. And these functions have access to this internal value, which is kind of, that's the whole thing there. Okay, so set. Um, what is set? Basically, you take a new value, and then you set this value to the new value. Cool. And then up here, one other thing we need, some internal um, logic that we need is subscribe functions. So basically, all the subscribe functions we're going to keep in this list right here. So when someone subscribes, we're going to add their callback to this list. Okay, so here in set, after you set the value, you're just going to go through all the subscribe functions. And for each function, we're going to call that function with the value, or this new value. It doesn't matter, either one. Uh, new value. Okay, so they're all being notified of this new value. That's basically how that subscribe works. So basically here when I'm doing my store.subscribe, you get this new value and then you can do whatever you want with it. So this new value here is coming from up here. Okay, and so same when you're subscribing, you're calling this function here. So what does this function do when you subscribe? Uh, when you subscribe, it's just adding your callback to this list of subscribe functions. So subscribe functions dot push uh, your callback right there. Okay, and then when you subscribe, it also immediately runs your function. So with the value of the store. So we just need to call that callback with uh, the value of the store. And then finally, we need to return our unsubscribe function. So what that does is just removes your callback from the list of subscribe functions. So subscribe functions equals subscribe functions dot filter and function. So, um, oops, function doesn't equal callback. Okay, so we're just getting rid of it if um, we only keep the ones that don't equal the callback. Okay, we're just getting rid of it. Cool, so that is pretty much everything except for this update. So an update, it takes a callback. So remember, let's say I have the store, I want to say my store and I want to update it. Let's say I take the old value and then I increment it uh, plus plus and then I return it like that. So this callback basically um, we're going to call your callback with the value in the store. And then your callback takes this value, and then it gives me a new value. So that new value will then be passed into the set function, which will then set the value and notify all of the subscribe functions of this new value. OK, so we pretty much have everything we need right there. Let's see if it works. Uh, this is our store, my writable, 0. So we're just going to implement like a count. So from app.svelte, we're going to import, what did I call it? my store from dot slash my writable. OK, so this is my store. And let's come down here and see my store. Oh, that's my dog there. Um, 
cool. So we have that initial value zero, which was set right here. And now let's see if it works across different components. So same thing. We're going to import my store from dot slash uh, my writable. And then down here, we'll just have a button on click. It's going to increment on click equals uh, my store plus plus. So go up. And then we'll import that button here. Dot slash button dot svelte. And then put it right here and moment of truth. Da, 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 go, oh, oh, yeah, nice. OK, so it goes up. So this component is, they're both using the same store right here. So this is creating this little space where there's an internal value, and they both can set it or read it. And so basically, the cool thing about Svelte is that it has this dollar sign syntax. So what it's doing here is subscribing and then unsubscribing to the store. So it just subscribes and then immediately reads this value from the callback, and then it unsubscribes. That's how it reads. And then when it's setting, I don't know how it works exactly, but it's basically like using update or set or something to um, uh, to set the value. Okay, so let's say you're not using Svelte and you're just using vanilla JavaScript or something. You can't use this dollar sign syntax with a store. So what you would do is from here, it would be like my store dot update, and then you would take the old value and then return plus plus old value like that. Okay, so boop, 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 that still works. And then here in my store, what you would do is uh, my store dot subscribe subscribe whenever we get a new value basically we'll have uh, something called like count and then whenever we get this new value we're going to set count to this new value and then rather than the store here it's going to be count okay and go up okay so let's just walk through what is happening here so this is kind of you know no special svelte magic you could do this with like vanilla javascript basically um, or in any framework it's just javascript so what is happening so um this app.svelte in here, it's importing the store. Okay, the store has an internal value of zero. It's saying subscribe to this store. So it's coming here and subscribing. So it's passing this callback in. So this callback here is getting added to the list of uh, subscribe functions. And it's being called immediately. And this, which doesn't matter in this case. Um, okay, so now it's in the subscribe functions. Cool. So. Um, it ran once and it set the count and now we have count of zero like that. Okay, and then button is doing my store dot update, so it's passing this callback in to into here. So it's running with that old value, it's returning the new value, and then that gets set. So we come here, we get the new value. So value now equals new value. So the store has been updated, but we need to notify everyone. So we go through all the functions, so basically that one function here, and it'll run your function right here with the new value. So it's going to pass in that new value here, and the cycle completes, and you have your new count like that. Okay, so I hope that made sense. Let me know if you, um, you know, if this is useful at all, if you can think of any use cases. I, a, I might use this when I'm not using Svelte, but if I'm using Svelte, I'm just going to use their store because they seem to have some magic going on that I don't quite understand. Um, but yeah, if this is useful, let me know if you can think of use cases. Anyway, like, subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.